and my mouth shall give you praise. Here get the key one Jesus. Stop one again here to the six. Lord, why do those who afflict me multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, There is no salvation for him is God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, and God of the of my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I woke for the Lord who helped me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God, for you struck all those who were foolishly offended thee with me. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and the blessing is upon your people. I lay down my step, I walk for the Lord who will help me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor just me in your anger, for your arrows are fixed in me, and your hand rests on me. There is no healing in my flesh because of your anger. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins, for my transgressions rise up over my head. Like a heavy burden, they are heavy on me. My wounds grow foul and fashion because of my body. I suffer misery, and I utterly bow down. I go all the day long, thus and face, for my bodies are filled with mockings. And there's no healing in my flesh. I'm afflicted and greatly humbled. I roar because of the glory of my heart. Oh Lord, all my desire for you. And my glory is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw near and stand against me, and my near king stand far off. And those who seek my soul use violence, and those who seek evil for me speak for me. And they meditate for the sick all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, do not hear. And I'm like a mute who does not open his mouth. I am like a man who does not hear, and who has no reproof in his mouth. For in you, O oh Lord, I hope. You will hear, O oh my God. For I said, Let not my enemies rejoice over me. For when my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I ran for wounds, and my pains continued with me. For I will declare my transgressions. And I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemy is me, and I become stronger than I. And those who hate me unjustly are multiplied. Those who repay me evil for good slander me, because I pursue righteousness. And they throw away my love as long as people are stinking corpse. Do not forsake me, O Lord. O oh my God, do not depart from me. Keep heed to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not depart from me. Keep you to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. O God, O my God, I rise early to be with you. My soul thirsts for you. How often have I thirst for you in a desolate, impassable, and wildest land. So in the holy place I appear before you to see your power and your glory, because your mercy is better than life to the lips of creation. Thus I will bless you in my life. I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as it would marrow and feathers, and my mouth shall sing praise to you with lips filled with rejoicing. If I remember you on my, on my bed, I meditate on you a day break, for you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows those behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me, but they seek for my soul in vain, and they shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. For the king shall be glad in God, for all who serve by him shall be praised. For the mouth that speaks unrighteous things is stopped. I meditate on you at daybreak, for you are my helper, and the shadow of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows God behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. 
Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σου ο Θεό. Αλληλούια, 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 κόρη του Ιωγά. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and in its days. Amen. O Lord of God, of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord, for my soul is filled with sorrows, and my soul draws near to the caves. I have come to know those who have down to the pit. And like a helpless man, free above the dead, like slain men thrown down and sleeping in the grave, whom you remember no more, but they are removed from your hand. They led me in the lowest pit, in dark places in the shadow of death. Your wrath rested upon me, and you brought all your billows over me. You removed my witnesses far from me. They made me an abomination among themselves. I was betrayed, and did not go forth. My eyes wicked from poverty, O Lord. I cry to you, the cruel day alone. I spread out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Or will physicians raise them up and acknowledge you? Shall anyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth in destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in the forgotten land? But I cry to you, O Lord, and in the morning, my prayer should come here to you. Why, O oh Lord, do you reject my soul and turn away your face from me? I am poor and in trouble for my youth. But having been exalted, I was humbled and broke into despair. Your fierce anger passed over me, and your terrors great each other. They confessed black water all the day long. They surround me at once. You remove far from me, neighbor and friend, and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. Bless the Lord of my soul, and everything with me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul, and forget not all his rewards, who is merciful to all your transgressions, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life of corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercies and judgment to all who are wronged. He made known his voice to Moses, the things he would will to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrath forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the cut of death and from earth, so the Lord prays in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As a father is compassion on the children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him, for he knows how he formed us. He remembers we are dust. As for men, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field. So he flourishes, for the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain. But it shall no longer know its place. But the mercy of the Lord is from age to age on those who fear him, and his righteousness upon children and children such as keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all of his angels, mighty in strength, who took his word so as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all of his hosts, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer. Give heed to my supplication in your truth. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul. 
a couple who had left the ground because they dwell in dark places, as one long dead, and my spirit was in anguish to me. My heart was troubled within me. I remember the days of old, and I meditated on the Lord of your works. I meditated on the works of your hands. I sprang out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a wildness then. Hear me speak to you, O Lord. My spirit fades within me. Turn not your face from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. Make me know, O Lord, the way for a gush to walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I plead for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness, you shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy, you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter the judgment of your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter the judgment of your servant. Your good spirit shall guide you in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, we are glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, we are glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. I hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace let us pray. Oh, oh, oh. 
gets them. God is the Lord, and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. By means of your cross, O oh Lord, you abolish death to the robber you open paradise. The lamentations of the murdered woman you transform, and you gave your apostles the order to proclaim to all that should be risen, O oh Christ our God, and granted the world ye great mercy.
an unfortunate full life and the life of all things.
evil for me. Against you, you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your judgment and blameless in your glory. For behold, I was conceived in transgression, and in sin my mother bore me. Behold, you loved her, you showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I will be made white as the snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face away from my sin, and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me in your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your good, and ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desire a sacrifice, I would have given it. You would not be pleased with full God. A sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart thou will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be filled. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and full burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar, and have mercy on me, O God. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as the intercession of the apostles of the Lord, of mercy, God among his senses. Felicia y gestiona sto de oro a mí, estis de oro, presbies el limón, exal y psota fifi, to de mor, el limato. But thou never didst obey this command, at the invitations of the Theodorus, O Lord of mercy, but out of many offensive hands. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, according to the abundance of your compassion, but out my transgressions. Jesus, having risen from the grave, as he foretold, has granted us eternal life and made mercy. O oh God, save your people and bless your repentance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies through the intercessions of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. The power of the precious and life giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable and glorious prophet John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, our fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and technical teachers based on the great Gregory the theologian of John Chrysostom, Athanasius, Cyril, and John Merciful Patriarchs of Alexandria. Nicholas, Bishop of Myra, Spiritum, Bishop of Philippus, Nectarius of Metapolis, the One Workers, the Holy, Glorious, Great Martyrs, George the Victorious, Demetrius the Marmonis, Theodore the Tyrant, and Theodore the General, Menas the One Worker, the Hieromartyrs, Columbus and Eleftherius, the Holy, Glorious, and Victorious Martyrs, the Glorious, Great Martyr, and all notable Leofi, the holy and glorious martyrs Stephen, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Paraskivi, and Irene. Of our holy Gandarian fathers, the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Girakim and Anna, and our devout and God-bearing father, Anthony the Great, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints, we beseech you, only merciful Lord, hear us sinners we pray to you, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy. 
Would you purchase for yourself with your precious blood? Again and again, peace and us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us. And keep us, O God, by your Let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are our God and to you we give glory. To the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and for God, 
become incarnate from you. She should be not know the marriage bed of a male, but she will see it from the Holy Spirit. Thou sin of Christ, you see through us. The all seeing God dwells in you, O Saint, teaching and enlightening you through prayer, cleansing and dancing, giving you a vision of Hudson, of pure and lovely souls, O Christ, most divine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ gave you the grace of healing, bearing you with diseases, and power over spirits. Why say, for who bear conquer in nature, by that which is above nature, you share, Father, through the grace of the Holy Spirit. Oh, that's 
For me. 
place in the whole world for the stability of the holy churches of God and for the unity of all. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who are in with faith, reverence and godly fear, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Nicholas, the honorable presbyters, the deacons in the service of Christ, and all the clergy and the lady, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy. For our country, the President and all in public service, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy. For this parish and city, for every city and town, and for the faithful live in them. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy, for fair weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and on temperate seasons. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy, for travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, and mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your
I shall sing to my God as long as I exist. Say, Pastor Son of God, risen from the dead, we see to you mother and we are. Macarius, who of the Osea called Boitosa, who Ion is a two, a peculiar tone, the own of two. Oh, 
by means of your cross, O oh Lord, you abolish death to the robber you open paradise. The lamentation of the mortary woman you transformed, and you gave your apostles the order to proclaim to all that you get reason for Christ our God. And granted the world ye great mercy. For the Lord, imitating the manners of Elisha the Zealot, and following the straight path of John the Baptist, of Father Anthony, you colonized the desert and you supported the empire by your prayers. Therefore, intercede Christ our God to save our souls.
today's sermon, I will have a few questions for you, and the only thing I request is short answers with yes or no. The last question might require a longer answer. So my first question to you would be, who do you think you are? Are you your profession? Yes or no? Are you your possessions? Are you your position? Are you your 
political views or apartments? Are you your body? Are you your body? Okay. Are you your mind? Yes or no? Are you your mind? I would say no. Our mind was given to us by God. Our body was given to us by God. But it's not who we really are. This is a big confusion in humanity. The world around us wants us to identify ourselves with our possessions, our position, our political views, our profession, you name it. The world around us also wants us to identify ourselves with our body and with our mind. But according to the teaching of the church, that's not who we really are. Our mind and our body were given to us by God, but it's not who we really are. So who do you think we really are, each of us? Who do you think we really are? Yes. The soul, the spirit within us, the image of God within each and every one of us. According to the Bible, according to the teaching of the church, every human being is created in the image of God. A sparkle of the Holy Spirit of God dwells within each and every one of us. God himself is within us each and every one of us. That's who we really are. But because of this confusion and because people identify themselves with everything but the image of God within them, this creates a lot of division in humanity. Saint Anthony the Great, the one whom we, the saint whom we celebrate today, and who lived from the middle of the 3rd century to the middle of the 4th century, he lived a long life, he lived a little bit over 100 years. He used to say that men are often called intelligent wrongly. Intelligent men are not those who are erudite in the sayings and books of the wise men of old, but those who have an intelligent soul and can discriminate between good and evil. We spoke about this yesterday, about this focus, especially in our Western society, this focus, this obsession with mental intelligence. People almost forgot they, they have a spirit within them. We are focused so much on our mental intelligence and acquiring knowledge, and then we don't know what to do with that knowledge and so many times we use it for the wrong reasons, we use it for our own destruction because we don't listen to the spirit within us, to the image of God within us, who teach us what to do with the mental knowledge acquired by the grace of God. Saint Anthony the Great also used to say that a time is coming when men will go mad. And when they see someone who is not mad, they will attack him saying, you are mad because you are not like us. <clears throat> Do you see that happening around us? I see that a lot. I see, first of all, you know, people pointing a lot of fingers at other people. You are mad just because you are not like us. Why? Because we identify ourselves with anything else but the image of God within us. 
And we, ident we identify the other people by their possessions, by their position, by their career, by their mind, by their body, by their uh, political affiliation, you name it. And we put any kind of labels of them on them because we forget that that person ultimately and essentially is an image of God. That person next to me who doesn't agree with me is not his or her mind or thinking or body or position or political affiliation or whatever. No, that person is an image of God. And that's what I'm looking at essentially. And everything else that is placed on that person are details, but is not who the person really is. Does that make sense? Also, from what I see, a lot of people are going mad because they are using, we are using, I'm including myself in this because I live in the same world, I live in the same society, and I'm encouraged so much to use my mind. So many people, so many of us are losing our ways, are getting mad because we are too much into our mind. The mind was given to us by God, but it is not who we are. The mind is a tool given to us by God. The body is a tool given to us by God. The profession the career, the everything, you know, uh, everything are tools given to us by God to serve the spirit within us. So going back to the body and the mind being tools, what happens if we are using our body too much? What happens to our body? What happens to our body if we use our body too much? Hmm? We get exhausted. It's going to break down, right? Like any other tool, if you use it too much, it's going to break down too soon. If we don't use it, what happens to a tool? It gets rusty and it misses the purpose, right? It is the same with the mind. If we use the mind too much, what happens to the mind? gets tired and we lose our mind. If we don't use it enough, what happens to our mind? Hmm? Gets lazy <laughs> and again is not good. So we are to keep a balance and to see our mind and our body as tools given to us by God and nothing more. We have to use them but not too much, because if we use them too much, we're going to lose them. From what I see, especially in our Western society, for the last few centuries, especially since the time of, since the early Middle Ages, since uh, the 1600s, you know, René Descartes even uh, declared, I think, therefore I am. And this was in the, in the 1600s. Since those times, people, especially in the Western society, were very much into their mind and having arguments about their thoughts until we lose our ways and we lose our mind. The time is for humanity to go to the next level, to the next level of being, to descend with the mind in the heart with the mind in the spirit and to find God and his kingdom, his peace, God himself within us. But I think I spoke enough for today and we will speak about the descending of the mind in the soul, in the spirit next Sunday. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit.
and granted always guarded by your power. We may give glory to you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and the ages of
communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you.
with all of you and with your spirit. Having remembered all of the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts of the consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let our loving God, who has received them at his holy, heavenly and spiritual altar, as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Together with your own holy, the life giving 
वाली थी
a virtual Wings Agape, and then on Wednesday evening at 6 p.m., another virtual session of our Bible study. We will start to discuss the 10th chapter of the Gospel of John. On Saturday at 10 a.m., God willing, we will get together to serve the Holy Liturgy, to give the chance to more people to come to church and to worship in person. No sign-up is required for Saturday's Holy Liturgy. And talking about Saturday's Holy Liturgy, we need more ushers for the services during the week. The Parish Council members are in charge of being ushers on Sundays. One Parish Council member is coming also on Saturday, but we need an extra usher. We already have one for this coming Saturday, but we would need more for the coming services during the week. So if you want to be an usher for the services during the week, please let me know. Next Sunday, God willing, we'll get together, uh, we'll get together at 8.45 a.m. for matins, at 10 a.m. for Holy Liturgy, and then at 1 p.m. our Sunday school students will get together virtually uh, with, their, with the Sunday school teachers for Sunday school. It is not too late to let me know if you want me to come and you from the outside. So you could be in the doorway or in the garage where some people set up you know, a small table in the garage you know, for the house blessing. The recommendation is not to go in the house. So anyway, if you want your house blessed, please let me know. Just tell me or text me or email me, call me, whatever works best for you. And I will call you and make arrangements with you to come and to bless your house. And you notice that I've been holding these two bags in my left hand this whole time. And uh, what do I have in each of these bags? I have, first of all, an icon of the Holy Trinity. And then I have a church directory and a letter. So who are these bags for? They are for a couple of families who for the last few months made our church as their spiritual home. And I thought it would be about time to officially welcome them among us. The first bag is for Rob and Alina. Please come closer. <laughs> Rob and Alina went to Fort Wayne last summer and they started coming to our church and they made, as I said, you know, they made our church as their spiritual home. God bless you and welcome among us. God bless you. And the second bag is for Ramsey and Muna. Ramsey and Muna, could you please come closer? In the same way, Ramsey, Muna, and their son Michael started coming to our church and uh, they decided to make our church their spiritual home. God bless you. Welcome among us. And you're very welcome. You're very welcome. And what I want to tell the four of you is that uh, our church, as I said in the letter, you know, and the letter is signed by our parish council president and by myself. And uh, we want to tell you that, uh, yes, our church is having the name of the Holy Trinity, the supreme structure of love. We are really trying to have the same love that exists between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to have it between us, among us. However, I want to tell you from the beginning that you might get hurt sometimes in our church community by some people, because we are not perfect. We are trying to be like the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, but we are not. And I am firmly convinced that I'm telling this to all of you. I am firmly convinced that this is, this is one of the reasons why we need to belong to a church in order to become like God. In order to become as loving, as forgiving as God is, we need to belong to a bigger group of people. 
Because only when we belong to a group of people, we learn to love, to forgive, to look at the image of God within the other one. Not at all the details, sometimes all the rough edges around the image of God that that person is showing to us. Welcome among us. We are not perfect. We'll do our best to be as loving as we can. And if we ever hurt yourself, or if we are ever not at the height of your standards, please forgive us and stay with us. God bless you and welcome. Now, we are faithful, I want to invite all of you to come for the veneration of the cross. Do we have any Tonys and Donias among us today? I don't think so. Anyway, if we have any Tonys and Donias uh, watching the live stream of this service, happy name day, Gloria Pola. God bless you. And now, please come for the veneration of the cross. If possible, you know that the, the, the requirement is not to congregate in the narthex of the church. If you want to exchange a few words, please do so in the fresh air of the parking lot. Thank you very much. God bless you.